right in this mesh bag I've got my Osni narrow blanket and as you can see I mean I can stuff it way way down I mean this just fits loose in there but I put a uh, ultralight poncho and mar pad in there so so poly I've got uh, a tent stake ultralight tent stake kit for ponchos and this is an accessory kit of just some stuff I'm testing. All right, I'm ready to head out into the woods. I'm going to be going between these two trees right here to set up my canopy shelter. You can see it's pretty windy. We got a storm moving in. Another storm this afternoon, tonight. Probably going to rain all night. Okay, let's get the gear out. Like I said, I got a little bit of extra gear in case I have a little chance to play around. That's my blanket, I'll get that out later. All right, let's get this show on the road here. This is uh, Ultralight 1.120 Marpat Seal Poly. And uh, that's a poncho. It's very, very light. So I'm going to throw my staff down on top of it to keep the wind from blowing it away while until I get it kind of tied down. Okay, I got to put up my ridge line. And this is the Dyneema Lashet that's in the kit. 500 pound test. By default, it comes with one of these fleas by Dutch, Dutchware. And uh, you can order it with, with two fleas, one on each end if you want. I like one because I like to tie a knot on the first, on the first side. I'm going to start with the end without a flea on it. In my case, so I'm going to tie my little uh, Swedish knot there, tighten it up, draw it down, we're good to go, that's it. Alright, I'm going to put this ridge line through the center tie out tab on both ends, and I don't really have to, but when it's really windy, I like to be able to make sure my thing isn't going to blow away sometimes. What I've done here is I've put one of our Dyneema Prusik loops right here. And I've come back, gone through this loop right here, and put a toggle in there. Okay, so on this end here, I could use another Prusik loop, or an easier way is what I've done here. My flea, I've taken that whole thing through this loop right here. Then I pulled some tension on it. I hooked that flea right here on this cord. Pull it back. Then I'm going to come up. I'm going to go around that little horn on the flea. Come back around and go through the wing right there and pull it. Now I'm in place. I didn't have to tie any knot there or anything. It's easy to undo and readjust. I don't need that much tension on this because I'm going to be staking it out with shock corded tent stakes so I can do a good, I just need this, you know, sort of tight. Everything else will come when I do the, the uh, tent stakes. Okay, so here's what I like to do when I'm putting the little um, tarp worms on here is I like to just do them all at once. The thing to remember is you want to put the tarp worm through the loop and pull on it. That's all there is. Just like that, four corners. So when I get ready to do the uh, the corners going out to my tent stakes, I like to come at kind of a kind of a 45 degree angle here. I'm siding through the center. I'm siding through the hood down to this corner. And so right back in here somewhere is where I want to put my tent stake. All right. So there's that side staked out, strung up. So when, I, so when I wind up my cord, I like to do the figure eight thing. And then I like to lay that figure eight loop over top of the tent stake. And then do my, then do my wraps this way. It doesn't get as tangled in the bag when you kind of keep it to the tent stake. All right, so I like to put the uh, cord through my tarp worm first. Then I come out here. And I kind of move it around like this and I watch and see so I get my best direction for the best pull. And I see where that is. 
see where that is and I start my tent stake in. If the ground's firm but not too hard, you can push it in with your foot. Okay, and then this is how we pull the tension. And then, uh, then all you're trying to do is pull a twist a loop. Then you put that end of that loop over there and, and pull on it. And that will hold it. It makes a half inch that locks around the tarp worm. So now I've got my canopy put up, my tarp into a shelter. I can take the hood on the poncho, and the poncho has a snap. Now these uh, super ultralight, the uh, Sil Poly 1.120s, they have plastic snaps instead of metal snaps. And I've got plenty of room. As you can see, I've got this is a PSSL poncho, so it's eight feet long. So I got eight feet. And I got about uh, four and a half feet of width. So it's a little skinny on the width, width wise, but as you can see, it's still very doable. Now something to consider here also is that I pitch this about waist high, which normally that's about what I like. But depending on your storm conditions, you may pitch lower or pitch the backside. You may stake it like the side the storm's coming from. You may stake it more directly down to the ground. All right now I've pitched, I've picked an area that doesn't uh, normally have water flow. So, so I'm in a situation where I shouldn't have to worry about water flow during a storm. A quilt, Hosni narrow quilt. Do the same thing with a blanket or whatever you got. And a canopy as a protection from the uh, snow or rain or whatever. Now, as I say, that's a great shelter. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You know, you can change a lot of the way how you pitch it and all that sort of thing. I'm gonna show you a couple of those things here. If you followed me very much, you know that I like to be able to be in my shelter and still see out and see what's going on. And uh, so let me show you just a really simplest way possible of doing that on this little shelter here. So I can take something as simple as this fork stick right here I wanted the fork to be about waist high, so I got it snapped off right there. I just take this thing, put it through the tab right there, and stick it up. Because all of our corners are tied out with shock cord, I don't even have I don't even have to do a tie out to this thing to make it stay up. I mean, if I push back on it, it comes out. See that? So. You know, ideally, you know, you could even put it out like that, but of course that pushes back. All I got to do is slope it slightly, the bottom slightly to the inside. That's all you need. And it'll just hold there by itself. So now that little addition right there, that stick, that gives me enough headroom to sit up. It puts me in here out of the elements. But I can still, now I can sit up. I can see outside. If I need to get in and out, in my situation, my storm will be coming from behind me. So this will be on the opposite side of the storm. Hey, if I was in here and the storm just got bad or something, take the stick, flip it down. I mean, literally, literally just a flick of the stick, the thing's down out of your way. That's one of the nice things about tying this out with shock cords all the way around. Now if the storm, if the storm is getting too extreme pushing in here, coming in against this back side, we can change the position of the tent stakes very easily and we can reposition this side lower so that we have less chance of the storm uh, making an incursion on us from the back side. To loosen the uh, cord, just give it a pull, it's loose, that's it, nothing to untie. I can grab the tent stake by the cord, pull it right straight up out of the ground. I still would like to use the, take advantage of the shock cord, so I still, do, I want to come out just a little bit still. So I think we'll go in about right here. 
Okay, I've gone in right there and I'm pulling down and pulling more down than anything here. And now I just uh, flip that loop around there. That's it. I mean, that, how simple is that? I didn't bring an extra uh, shock cord with a tarp worm on it to do this stake with. That's all right. I just tied it out. Now I just pull it out wherever I want to. Shove this little baby down in the ground. Like that. Now, if I have a heavy storm, now that's going to help uh, keep the storm from pushing too hard on there. If you really got a high wind, this thing, all I do is pull on the tag end. I'm going to pull slow. See, it just pulls the half hitch off of there. I can just let go of it. 